Well, the man accused of killing his ex-girlfriend's young daughter. His fate will soon be in the hands of a jury. Local 10's Leanne Motohone is live at the courthouse with more. Leanne. Well, the defense had the option of calling witnesses. They did not. The defendant also chose not to testify. The jury started their day by hearing from the state's final two witnesses. That included the medical examiner who described the various injuries that the young victim suffered. No, no way I Miguel Ruiz Lobo declares he will not testify in his own defense. The state and defense have now rested, setting the stage for closing arguments and deliberation by the jury. How tall was Martha Guzman? Four foot eight inches. How much did she weigh? 61 pounds. What was her reported age? 11 years. Earlier Wednesday, jurors heard from the state's final witness. The Miami-Dade medical examiner said he performed the autopsy on Martha Guzman back in 2014. Did you notice anything about her fingernails and her toenails? Yes. What? They were painted green. Ruiz Lobo, who is Guzman's mother's ex-boyfriend, is on trial for her murder. The state alleges he choked the child nearly to death, then knifed her neck and wrists in her final moments. Some jurors were visibly shaken while observing photos of the child on the Emmy's table. Would the injuries that we see around her nose and mouth be consistent with someone smothering her? Yes. When I looked at the microscopic slides, there was some blood in the airways of the lung. Could that be an indicator that she was in agonal breathing at the time that her wrist and neck were severed? Yes. The defense tried to poke holes in the state's theory on cross. Uh, you cannot say at what point this girl lost consciousness. Not from the autopsy, no. So looking ahead to Thursday, the jury will receive their instructions and then they will hear the closing arguments by both the state and the defense. The state will also get an opportunity to offer their rebuttal. Then it'll be up to them to decide his guilt or otherwise. He is charged with murder and burglary, and this is also a death penalty case. So if they find him guilty, he could be put to death. For now reporting in Miami, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.